Yo, what up YouTube? Gully Boy back at you with a brand new video. And today, I want to share with you guys a very sad video that I just watched on YouTube. Not only is this video sad, but it also makes me very upset. And the video I'm talking about is an interview of DMX on Oprah's network where he's trying to have a relationship with his son. Now we all know there is a high percentage of black males that grow up without their fathers. Like all of my homeboys grew up without their fathers. I grew up without my father. I ain't seen my daddy in like 15 years. And when I was younger, I barely even saw this dude. And the reason why this video has me so upset is because you have a man trying to have a relationship with his son, but his son is holding so many grudges against his father that he's ruining the chances of really having a relationship with him. And with that being said, let's get into this video, y'all. DMX and his son haven't seen each other in a year and a half. Damn, y'all. This dude ain't seen his daddy in a year and a half. Bro, I feel real sorry for this dude right now. I ain't seen my daddy in 15 years, and most of us don't see our daddies at all. It just sucks that DMX was in his son's life all of these years, except for the year and a half. Like, what's that? Five or six months? I feel so sorry for this dude right now. Oh, he's here. Bruh, look how happy this man is to see his son right now. You don't see shit like this often. But real talk, y'all, this is the only happy moment out of this whole interview. The rest of the shit just goes downhill from here. My baby, you always gonna be my baby. <laughs> always, always. That's why, it was. That's why we never talk. I can't talk to you. What? Because of all you've done. All right, y'all, check this out. Here we have a man that obviously loves his son and wants to be in his son's life. But then we have his son that doesn't want to talk to his father all because of some shit that he's done in the past. And as this interview goes on, you're gonna realize how petty this dude is. And you're also gonna realize how stupid this bitch is. From this to here. You know, I just, I just, I just wanted to, you know, teach you the stuff a father's supposed to teach his son. You know what I mean? And, you know, help you whatever I could. I, I, I always extended like, yo, you know, you didn't talk about anything, and I just never talked to me. But I hope you didn't think I didn't love you. No. Oh, oh, okay, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I made that clear. Like, you know, you can just walk by. I love you. you know what I mean, like, you know, if you said, you know, just that. Now, did y'all hear what this man just said? He just said that he's always tried to be in his son's life you know, trying to teach him the ropes of life, manhood, and all of that good stuff. And his son has never really let him in like that. Like, dude, you have a father that wants to be in your life, bro. A lot of us don't have that. Like, if my daddy was around when I was young, growing up, teenage years, and was like, son, I wanna be in your life, I'm gonna be like, yeah, pops, come on, man, let's have some conversations, man. Teach me, teach me shit, you know? like. What son don't want their father in their life? I don't know not one dude, well, probably got some of them that just despise their father, but for the most part, a lot of us wanted a male figure in our lives and we never got a chance to have it. And this dude has a male figure and has always had a male figure, but has just never let him in because of some stupid ass reasons. And right about now, we gonna listen to some of those reasons why he didn't let his father talk to him. You know? Can I hold that for you? Cause you're not gonna do that right now. Not well, right now. I... <laughs> you just got me. Now you just give me a compliment about smoking a cigarette. Yeah, come on, let me hold it for you. Nah, I, nah, I promise I'll give it back Let's to you. I'll give clean. it back Let's to you. Let's do it clean. Let's do it clean. Do y'all see this fucking stupid ass bullshit? Now this is the now this is the shit that made me mad about this video. Here you have this stupid ass bitch telling this grown man, talking about some. We not gonna do that. We not, what the fuck you mean? This is a grown ass man, and all he's doing is smoking a cigarette. And then you got the feminine ass son talking about, let's do it clean, let's do it clean. Nigga, you have your father wanting to be in your life, begging to be in your life, and you sitting up here with this stupid ass bullshit because he's smoking a damn cigarette. Now this is the bullshit that made me mad about this fucking video, y'all. Like, check this out. I don't give a fuck if my daddy's smoking crack, snorting cocaine weed i don't give a fuck about none of that shit if this man is trying to be in my life i'm gonna let him be in my life 
I'm not about to judge this man because he's fucking smoking a cigarette. Stupid as hell, dog. He, he wanted to talk to you. And I said that I would support you all. I'm just keeping the high ground. So you told her that she wanted to talk to me? Yeah. Why, why, why couldn't you, like, tell me, like? All right, y'all, check this out. I might be wrong for saying this shit, but this little nigga right here pisses me off. You tell this woman you want to talk to your father, but you don't tell your father that you want to talk to your father? What kind of stupid ass shit is that? Now we can see this dude can obviously just pick up the phone and call his father, but he decides to tell a woman that has nothing to do with his family or his father that he wants to talk to his father? What kind of stupid ass bullshit is that, bro? Like if you want to talk to your father, just pick up the damn phone and call him. He would have came to talk to you because just like he said in the beginning of this interview, he always wanted to be there to consult with you. But your emotional ass won't let him. Because you were I, I, shut down, I couldn't. I shut down? The way what, you've been. What, the way I've been? You haven't seen, like what do you mean the way I've been? The way we, you've been we, acting. How do I act? You mean between me and your mother? That's what you mean. Would you? Yes, if always, as a kid, taking me around the women. Other, other, uh, yes. So the reason why you don't want to talk to your dad is because you seen them around some women when you were a child? Bro, do you realize how fucking stupid you sound right now? Like who the fuck holds a grudge like that, bruh? Check this out. My daddy cheated on my mama plenty of times. So by that logic, when if he ever come around and start say that he wanna be in my life, I'ma just say, nah nigga, because remember them times you was cheating on my mama when I was little? Why the fuck would I do that? First of all, that ain't got shit to do with me. Those were some issues he had in the past. I ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm a grown ass man now. And another thing, that shit was in the past. Like what does that have to do with me having a relationship with my father in the present day? Nothing. Now what did I do with these women that we were around? What did I do with them? Well, one of them, we were at the studio. You kissed on the lips goodbye. Okay. And another one. I mean, uh, you told say. me story. No, on the lips. Yeah, yeah, on the lips. You were married to my mother, your wife. Xavier's pain is rooted in what he believes is his father's betrayal of his mother. Oh my God, man. How much of a bitch do you have to be, bro? I'm not gonna talk to my daddy for a year and a half because he kissed the girl on the lips one time we was in the studio and I was about five years old. Fuck that nigga, man. He cheated on my mama because he kissed the bitch on the lips. Bro, get your motherfucking whole ass out of here, dog. Do you know how many of us don't grow up without fathers and you letting this little bitty ass shit keep you from not having a relationship with your father? Bro, this shit is making me so mad right now, bro. Niggas don't have daddies like that, bro. Here you have somebody that want to be in your life and you letting this little ass shit keeping you from not having a relationship with your father. Bro, this shit is sickening right now. A kiss is, is harmless. Some, some women do that. There's no indication. And for one, I don't even think, think why, why would you automatically assume that I'm, that I'm f***ing it? Like, for one, if I'm f***ing why would I bring you around her? Hey, man. Why does it sound like he is explaining this shit to his chick or something? This shit sound like a chick saying, you kiss that bitch on the lips. What? You cheating on me? Like, that's how you sound right now, little nigga. You sound like a fucking female right now, dog. Like, come on, dude. You see your daddy kissing the girl on the lips when you five years old, and you assume that this nigga is cheating on your moms with this chick. Bro, you need to, you need to seriously grow up, man the fuck up, stop holding stupid ass grudges, and just have a relationship with your father, bro. Like, this is some bullshit right now, dog. Can I offer Why would I bring you around a chick that I'm can I, can I just offer you a little bit? Can I talk to my son, please? Wait a minute. Can I just, talk to my son, please? Can I just offer you some insight? Please, insight? I don't want, I want to talk to my but son. But y'all are talking to I each other. Talk. Hey, cuz I'm about to straight up get on this bitch right now. Why is you not letting this man talk to his son? Why are you interfering the goddamn conversation right now? We don't need your two cents. My man is trying to explain to his son right now why he need to stop dwelling on that stupid ass bullshit that he dwelling on. And you need to get your motherfucking Aunt Jamimi looking ass, fake ass Oprah Winfrey looking ass. Look like the bitch from the damn Popeyes commercial. Louisiana, get your motherfucking Louisiana chicken and hot sauce face ass the fuck out of here, color purple. 
purple looking ass the fuck out of here ain't your mama looking ass bitch shut your ass up and let this man talk to his goddamn son shit pissing me the fuck off right now dog y'all are talking to each other it's just just trying to hear out when i was can i just offer you See, that's, that's that the problem right there you. every time we try to talk to somebody is always in the damn interpreter you mean whether it's your mother whether it's, you know this lady here like, like do you feel we, that you he's talk, hearing you're you? very intelligent do you think that he's hearing you? okay no Look, y'all, the more and more I watch this video, the madder I get. This man is trying to talk to his son, but this bitch keep on interrupting. Every time I'm, every time DMX trying to explain or, you know, clarify shit to his son, here we had this bitch interrupting. And then the stupid ass, fucking dumb ass, queer ass son talking about some, no, nah, man, look, look, you need to hear her out. How about you hear your father out, bro? What the fuck do she got to do with anything, dawg? You need to hear your father out. She ain't got shit to do with the conversation. The fuck is wrong with you? This nigga literally just sat up here and said, Dad, hear her out. That bitch ain't got shit to say, bro. She ain't saying nothing. You need to be listening to your daddy because he's answering your questions right now, cuz. The fuck is wrong with this little... Boy, this little dude pissing me off right now, cuz. He just don't know how lucky he is right now to have somebody, to have a father that wanna be in his life, dude. You don't realize how lucky you are right now, cuz. Some straight up bullshit, my nigga. And you fucking letting this dumb ass, ugly ass, fake ass, Oprah Winfrey looking ass bitch interrupt shit. Why you trying to have a conversation with your father, man? This shit is just, oh, this shit, I don't know about y'all, but this fucking shit just pisses me off, cuz. You were always, always, but most of the time, very hostile the way you would talk made me feel like beneath you even what you were saying was good give, give me an example of how i spoke to you that made you you know what i'm saying feel like you were uh, you know i mean it was years ago just, just one example what Part. about today no, please, please, shut the f up, man no, i'm talking about no listen man listen man i'm, I'm, like I'm, I'm not i'm not going for this bro do y'all see this bullshit bro look this 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 fucking little dude right here right he was just like the reason why i could never talk to you is because you were you were hostile and i was scared and then x is like okay dude since some just give me one example of one time i was very hostile to you and this little nigga couldn't even give a fucking example bro so you just making up shit now on reasons why you don't want to talk to your daddy this is some straight fucking bullshit and then like DMX is challenging you right now, and then you got this dumbass, the, the, the stupid ass fucking pancake and syrup face ass bitch, the Aunt Jamima looking ass bitch, talking to, just interrupting. Why the fuck are you interrupting, dog? This, this is some bullshit right now. This shit is making me mad right now, cuz. And I feel, I feel so bad for this little dude, bro, because you have a father that wants to be in your life and you letting stupid ass, dumb ass, imaginary shit piss you off to the point where you don't want to talk to your father, bro. You was a straight bitch, my nigga. That's all I got to say. DMX, I'm sorry, but your son is a fucking bitch, cuz. And you had every right to cuss this hoe out. All right, now this last shit I'm going to show y'all. This, this, now this shit right here is the main thing that made me mad about this video. Now in this now in this particular scene, this little dude is asking for his father to be completely clean from drugs. Now, if y'all know anything about DMX, you know that he was addicted to crack ever since he was like 12 years old. Somebody laced his blunt with crack and he's been addicted since he was like 12. So there is no DMX getting clean or any of that shit. And this little dude is like saying, in order for us to have a relationship, you have to be 100% completely drug free, which is fucking impossible for DMX, bro. Like, it doesn't matter what your father is doing with his life. If he wants to be in your life, if he wants to coach you in life, it doesn't matter if this dude is on drugs. Obviously, he's sane and he's aware of things like what's the fucking problem? But just watch this. Just watch this dumb shit, y'all. Ask for what you want. <clears throat> Ask for what you want now. A relationship. Hmm? A healthy relationship with you. Can we have that? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm... Clean, completely clean. What do you mean? 
You. That's what you're asking me for? Because that's, that's the only way it's going to happen. So the only way that you will have a relationship with your father is if he's 100% clean from drugs. Like, little dude, do you know anything about your father? Do you know his fucking childhood, dude? Do you know how addicting crack is? Like, I'm not making no, I'm not trying to make no excuses or no shit like that, but check this out, y'all. You can't completely change. No one can just completely change themselves like that, especially somebody like DMX, who's had a rough ass childhood. Like, if this man is walking and he's alive and he's aware that you're his son and that he loves you, that's all you need, bro. That's all you fucking need. Like this shit is this this little nigga is so stupid right now, dog. Like, if DMX was my daddy, nigga, do you know do you know what the fuck I'd be doing right now, nigga? I'd be riding with this nigga right now, nigga, trying to get on every goddamn bitch possible. Like, yeah, DMX, my father, goddamn me, yeah, yeah, this nigga, I'm doing everything with this dude. My daddy is fucking DMX, cuz. And that's another thing. Like, we don't have our fathers in our life. Not only do you have your dad in your life, but your dad. It's fucking DMX. Like what? Are you are you are you fucking kidding me right now? Do you realize, bro? Do you realize how I don't think this little faggot ass queer ass this nigga make me so mad? You don't realize how lucky you are, dog. You are so fucking lucky, bro. DMX is your father, and he wants to be in your fucking life. Are you kidding me right now? You you tell me. I can't. I won't have a relationship with you unless I when. I've been a great father to you. I, I, I smoked weed before you was born. I drank before you was born. I did a lot of before you was born. Love, it's supposed to be unconditional. I, don't, I will never put a condition on our love or our relationship. Never. Ever. And I guess until, until you get to that place, we won't have a relationship. Cause that's the realest shit ever. Unconditional love. It shouldn't matter what your father is, who your father is. The love is unconditional and he wants to be there for you. I don't think this little nigga understand this shit right now. I don't think he ever gonna understand it because look, like to be for real with y'all, I think this nigga a little bit too feminine to even understand the, the concept of what DMX is even saying right here. Bro, unconditional love. Love your father regardless, bro. Damn. I still love you. I love you too. But um, uh, that, 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 that doesn't fly. That's not gonna fly. That's not gonna fly. That's not gonna fly. It's not fly. And that's okay. That's okay. Well, I guess I'll see you. I'll see you at my funeral. Man. Mel. Mel. Jeff, you in the Yeah, you dumbass dude at his fucking funeral. He ain't gonna stop doing fucking weed or crack or none of that shit. That's where you gonna, that's where the fuck you gonna see him at. If you don't wanna accept your daddy for who he is, that's where you gonna, that's where the last time you gonna see the nigga at, at his damn funeral, because he's not gonna stop doing what he doing. Just love your father for who he is, bruh. You are, oh, this fucking, <laughs> dude, this video pisses me off so much. And it is just, it is just about to piss me off even more. Check this, check this bullshit out, y'all. If you're gonna put a condition on our relationship, well then I guess that's when you see me. Come out. No. What do you mean no? What, what did you no. Let, 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 let. No, no, no. You don't get to speak to me no. ever again. Ever. All right, y'all. Now we gotta get on this dumbass, ugly ass, old ass, sixty-four year old sitting on the porch with a switch ass bitch once again. You ugly ass bitch. Who the hell are you to raise your voice at this man and tell this man's son to not hug him? You know what? I, hey, I'm not gonna say nothing further because y'all, I, I might get banned off this site because look, this bitch, this bitch pissed me off to the full and. If I keep going on, I'm going to say some I'm going to say some shit and I'm going to just leave it at that. Let's let's finish the rest of the video. I was finna go off, but I ain't going to do it. Maybe maybe some other video, but not right now. You. I'll just take did. that I too. Just did. You I can just leave. Did. I am going to leave. You can leave. How about you that? You can leave. You can leave. You get to ask for what you want. You get to ask for what you want. I bow to you. Thank you.
for what you just did. <laughs> oh my God, this bitch is so fucking evil. So evil. You bow to this queer ass dude for what he just did to his daddy. Basically just broke his heart. Told him that he don't want to have a relationship with his daddy. That's what you bow to him for. So you all for black men not wanting to be in their son's life. You all for that shit, you dumbass bitch. Fuck this bitch. Fuck Oprah. Fuck all these. Ooh, you know what? I'm look, I'm gonna end the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And my final thoughts on this shit. Listen, if my daddy were to come to me right now and say, son, I want to be in your life. I'm going to let that nigga be in my life because I'm going to tell y'all right now, my daddy cheated on my mama. My daddy was addicted to alcohol, smoked weed. I barely saw this dude through my childhood, teenage years. I ain't seen him in 15 years and I'm not going to hold those grudges against him. I'm not going to do it. That's some stupid ass bullshit. You should never do that. And this little nigga always had his father in his life. His father still want to be in his life and he ain't letting his father be in his life all because of some imaginary ass shit that he got going on in his head and this dumb ass evil ass ain't your mama looking ass bitch so with that being said i'm gonna see y'all guys next time and little dude your father got something to say to you right now i got i got i got him with me right now hey x what you want to say to your son right now stop acting like a bitch dog and with that being said i'm out this bitch